to a cubed plus a squared. Now, what is common to both? Well, I do have a two here, but there's just an invisible one in front here, a coefficient of one. So I cannot pull that two out. I want to, of course I want to, but there's no two in this term, so I can't pull the two out. I could pull a single a out. Yeah, I could do that, but you're always wanting to pull the largest thing out that you can. I can actually pull out an a squared. Why? Because I have two of these a's here and I have three of them here. So that's the largest thing I can pull out. Open my parentheses. Now, a squared times something has to give me two a cubed. What has to fit here is two times a. Because a squared times this will be two a cubed. You add those exponents, right? Then we have a plus sign. And then a squared times something is a squared. There has to be a one here. So you multiply in, you get two a cubed. You multiply in, you get a squared. So you know the answer's right. I don't even have to look at my notes. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.